What's up, lows and lets and twisted tots and thoughts and maggots? My name's Gabriel Manic Gonzalez, and uh, this is Purely Speculation. And I guess you could say Purely Speculation is just a talk show about purely speculative things in the juggalo world. First and foremost, I want to say happy birthday to uh, Mr. Dope himself. Shaggy Two Dope's birthday is today. Fresh off of his uh, not-so-dropkick heard around the world. But uh, everybody's talking about that. I got Normie's co-workers talking to me about Shaggy Two Dope trying the dropkick Limp Biscuit. So a lot of ninjas are saying that he dropkicked Fred Durst as a publicity stunt for ICP's latest album, Fearless Fred Fury. <laughs> now, if you're a juggalo in the know, then you know that it was announced that Fearless Fred Fury is coming out October 26th. But there has yet to be any pre-order announced whatsoever. So uh, is this album going to drop on its release date? Uh... Now it's purely speculation. But what if they put back the release date to October 31st and release it at Hollow Wicked for everybody that's going to be there? So as you've seen on the flyer, Hollow Wicked is returning to the Russell this year for the 25th Hollow Wicked event. 25 years of fucking Hollow Wicked in Detroit. It's a lot. It's a big deal. A lot of people aren't making a big deal about this whatsoever. A lot of people aren't missing this year. I mean, it's 25. I mean, I'd much rather have missed this year's gathering, which I did, for the 25th Hollow Wicked. It's, it's a pretty fucking big deal, bruh. And speaking about Hollow Wicked, you can shoot up $100 and get a VIP pass. Not only do you get to meet ICP and you get the Fago Armageddon, but you also get the Wizard of the Hood DVD. Now something I know for a fact is the early dates on this Hollow Wicked tour, a lot of people didn't get their Wizard of the Hood DVDs and they're pretty pissed off. Psychopathic sent them an email saying, we'll mail it to you, they're not ready yet. But I got inside info from an inside source that said, the St. Louis date had the Wizard of the Hood DVDs and they're going to be available for the rest of the Hollow Wicked tour. On more of a purely speculation tip, I know a lot of people have been wondering what happened to Kevin Gill. He hasn't been on the Juggalo show. Where's the motherfucker been? So, from what I heard, purely speculation, during uh, All in the Weekend, ICP was a part of a podcast wrestling festival and they were supposed to do Strangle Mania 3 live. And it was said that KG was put in charge of this. And when it came time for things to go down, the people that work in the convention said they had no footage whatsoever and nothing was sent to them. And during the convention, a lot of people, you know, filmed a lot of videos of it. And in one of the videos, you can hear Violent J say that Strangle Mania didn't happen because KG dropped the ball. A few days later, KG posts a status on Facebook talking about backstabbing friends and whatnot, and then I noticed that he uh, took off any relation to Psychopathic on his uh, detailed description on his Facebook, and also I uh, did some more research into it. So I remember back when KG first got put in the spot for the, to take over the social media, the Facebook page, Instagram, whatever. Also, he took over JCW. Now. Around this time, the Rude Boy uh, po was posting a lot of stuff saying that, you know, Psychopathic forgot about him, left him out of certain things here and there, kind of bitter a little bit. I kind of think that Rude Boy, that should have been Rude Boy's spot since he's been down with them for so long. And somehow KG kind of came in and jacked it from him. And then, like, through the weeks, Rude Boy mellowed out a little bit. And then, but there was a lot of passive aggressiveness going on between the two on the Juggalo show. Like, I mean, if you didn't pick up on that you must be blind because it was obvious and, and as you noticed uh since everything went down mr x has took back over social media rude boy has took back over jcw whenever somebody brings up to kg about what happened he kind of just uh tippy toes around the subject and it's obvious things are changing for psychopathic as they always have and always will and i like change i like change a lot it's a good thing. It keeps it keeps things going. It seems like for a long time, Psychopathic was just stuck 
with the same artists doing the same thing. A lot of these gatherings kind of all, like, especially the Cave and Rock ones, they all kind of just mesh together. It's almost like it was all one. But with all this change coming, I know last year's gathering. I know the year before that's gathering because there's so much that's changed. And it's a good thing. Change is awesome, bruh. I mean, so I'm going to go uh, cut out and get my costume together for Hollow Wicked. If you want to know what I'm going to be, I'm going to be an op. And uh, hopefully to see y'all there. If you aren't, why, why not? It's the 25th Holy Wicked. Get your shit together, people. Bye. The psychopathic on his uh, detailed description on his Facebook. And also, I uh, did some more research into it.